Hi there. This is a video showing how to assemble a particular Jim Tulpin standing desk, but for the general audience it might be useful to show how the joints come together. The assembly process, um, you're going to have a left leg assembly package and a right leg assembly package. This is the left leg assembly package. And so imagine that you're uh, standing, you're looking at the desk from the left side, so this is what you're visually going to see. Um, so the legs, so each leg, you should see like no, no uh, mortise uh, joints um, on the front or on the outside, you know, so this is properly oriented. Um, and then the apron, the bottom will have the bead, and then the, uh, uh, well, the cross stretchers will have beads on both sides. Um, so to begin with, all these pieces are marked. Um, every single piece has one place that it fits. So the leg assemblies, they'll be marked. Um, so here you see LL, so it's the left, uh, on the left side of the left. Um, so you want the LL uh, to be on this side. Um, likewise, this is LR. Um, so th this is a proper orientation of the, of the legs. And then the apron, um, so you'll see the same uh, letter, so LL and LR. So you know that's the left and the right side of that. And the brackets also have the same markings. I have LL and that plus LR. And then so that's the, where the brackets are oriented. And then the uh, final the cross stretcher also says uh, LL. And LR, so it only goes one way, so if you don't see any letters, that's the wrong way. And uh, so basically we just push this together and then we pin it and, and wedge it. Uh, so we start uh, here, the brackets go this way on the outside. And we just basically push that in. And take the other bracket, push that in. It might be a little loose, that's fine. Now we take this leg and we just roll it up like this. Now we take this and we just push it in like that. Should be kind of flush with the top there. Then we take uh, the cross stretcher, so the LL is on the outside there, and we just push that there. It's not going to go all the way because it's a through tenon. Then we take this one. Just roll it forward so that's the LR is over here. And we just uh, align it, push it down there. And then just kind of look closely there and it's just push it like that. And then, uh, so now we're just going to take it down on its side. We can push a little by hand if we want. Um, but uh, in your packet, you'll have a couple of these uh, uh, clamps. So basically, you take that and we're just going to squeeze it together. So I'll just keep twisting this to, for it to come together. It will start on the other side too. Here, and then we'll squeeze it together. So you can see that cinches up nice and tight. Yeah, this one was a little. Clicking all the way through there, so there you go. So that's nice and nice and through. So now the one thing we need to do is to uh, pin these. So uh, so the uh, there's a tapered side and a flat side. So you want the tapered side of the pins to go down into here. One, two, three, four. 
And then if it's nice and tight, you should just be able to lightly tap them through. And when you get close, you can use this pad to avoid it again. Okay, I can undo the clamp up here. So now on the bottom, I'm not going to actually do it here, but you're going to take these wedges, so you're going to press them, yeah, you know, skinny side first, you're going to take it into there, and then you're going to just press it lightly at first, and then um, with the mallets, you just uh, gently, just gently tap it in, and then just uh, real gently as it goes in further, you can give it a little bit more taps. And at the very end, you take this Japanese saw as a pull saw, so you just pull off the saw of any little little bit that's remaining, and sand it, and you're done. So that's the uh, basic assembly. You can glue this if you want. Um, it should all hold together for years without glue. Um, but that's, uh, that's basically it. <laughs> Part of putting uh, the, the whole leg assembly uh, together. That's uh, maybe the most challenging part of, these, of the assembly, but it's uh, kind of the same routine as, as doing the sides. So um, to begin with, um, you want your your left and, le and right leg assembly uh, face down, so the mortises are, are facing up. And if you have to forget which is left and right, um, there's some extra marks at the top. Uh, so this is LB, the left, the back side, and LF, the front side. So, so we know that this is the left assembly. And then, uh, just like the sides, we have aprons. Um, this, this time we have an apron on the front and one on the back, so this will say FL, the front left and front right over there. And just like the sides, the brackets will have the same uh, lettering scheme, like FL and FR there. So, uh, so basically you just uh, put these in just like the, the side ones. The front assembly, back one, same routine. Okay, so now what we're going to do, um, basically going to assemble everything um, on top of the left side. So the um, so the front uh, left. So there's a, a front left uh, labeling here. So front left goes there. So we just uh, push that in, just straight down. Sometimes canning the bracket helps uh, get it in. And so it's just a little press like that. And then uh, you want to make sure the outside um, is on the outside there. Um, the inside of the aprons will have a, a mortise into it, so you don't want that on the outside. So now I'm taking the back side, so the back right which is the back right here. So that piece goes right here. I'll just press that in. You can lead the edge there and just pop right in. And then now the cross stretcher, um, as there's only one way um, with labels, so it has a left and a right. So then the left goes into the left assembly right here. So we just give that a little push. Yeah, that's uh, good for starters. And then now our little balancing act. So we take this inside assembly and we lift it up. And then just put that, it's easier if you get it into the uh, cross stretcher first. Push that. Oh, this was not clamped. Uh, uh, and then you just uh, kind of have to get under here just to guide the, the individual pieces, but that one pop 
up to whoops um, go up here. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have to be uh, perfect, just getting the basic uh, thing in place. And so now we just tip the whole thing up, just set it down. And uh, first, uh, the easy part is the uh, cross stretchers. So we just take this little long clamp again, cross, and just kind of tighten it, which. Uh, Pulls out, I should give a little distance because I have to put these little tusks. So not to to get those out. Um, this right here. So these are little little tusks that go into the uh, um, I should put the uh, clamp maybe on the other side and make that easier. So I just push this little tusk in there. And you can you, know, you can give it a tap with the with the uh, mallet. I guess I'll do that. So it's a little tap. I'll put this. No, I need to tighten the clamps, but this is uh, extra tight since I oil these uh, separate pieces, but. And then uh, the uh, tusks in um, to tighten up a little bit. Um, they might get loose over time, but you can just you know keep tapping them, and that should work. So now we uh, take that clamp off. Work on the upper part. So it's important to get the uh, clamp on the leg itself, um, and then just uh, press it, and then just squinch it nice and tight. Yeah, so when you look at the, the face, it should be nice and even. Do the other leg here. And then just push it tight. All right, so now we uh, put four pins on each side, front and back. I'll show you just uh, one side, the other side is exactly the same. So you take this assembly, lean it up against something where you get some support. Um, I'm just putting some padding in front of the desk. And it's the same routine as the, uh, the side assemblies, just putting these pins in. And just, uh, Lightly tapping. And you can use a mallet all the way, or you can use a pad. I'm just going to use the Mallet, if someone holds that in, that, that, that helps too, so. Okay, and then the same routine on the back side. I won't show that in the video, but then that does the leg assembly. Done with the leg assembly, we just have to push these three pieces in, and we're done on the bottom. So we'll start with this thick piece. Uh, Clearly labeled uh, with F for front and B for back. And then so we take this, um, so we have the front of this bottom assembly here. You can double check, it does say F for front, or left front on the leg, right front on the, on the leg. So we take the back against the back, just right there. So you might have to push a little bit with your thumb to get, get it in there, and that just sits, sits right in there. Now we take these other cross uh, braces. There's one that has LB for left back and RB for right back. So that's the back piece. So that goes like that. So that right would face it forward. And then we have left front and right front. So that one goes here. So that's all you basically do is push these down like that. And push it down like that. 
and then to show you later on, you do the top assembly, you'll have a sliding shelves. So these are, these are the grooves where the sliding shelves are put in. And that's that. Thank you. Here's the uh, six pieces that form the, uh, the box on the top part of the desk. Probably the most uh, exciting part of the assembly process. It's like putting, putting together a little jigsaw puzzle. And so to begin with, it's important to orient the pieces um, and then to visualize how they'll uh, come together. So uh, we're going to start on the uh, left side. So you're, so this is the front. You're facing this way. This is on your left. Um, it's important to have the face sides uh, down. And then the, uh, uh, so the grooves or the dado is on the inside. And you want that facing the middle. On the back, uh, so this is a tall piece. You want the face side down, groove in the middle. And then same with the uh, right piece, uh, face down, groove in the middle. And then the shorter forward piece, face down, groove in the middle. And then the uh, cedar, last thing, cedar pat panel. Um, uh, so you want the, this groove or dado to be on the forward side. So this is the short part uh, here. And uh, so you don't want the, the back facing up. That, and so this facing up with the groove. And then finally, this little uh, divider. Um, it goes, uh, this is the only piece that's labeled, so it'll say front with an arrow, so you want front uh, facing that way. Um, so, uh, um, so you might need a helper uh, for this, um, but the, uh, the process, uh, easiest way I do it is to start by putting the divider here. And then, uh, so we want to assemble the, the sides. So basically, uh, Lift this up a little bit, put the groove into there. Oops. Put that into there like that. And then you want to do the same on the other side. Lifting up, getting the groove there. And then, uh, so this is the part you might want to help her. To, uh, so you want to kind of keep it square, and then we're going to tip it up. And then, uh, so what we're going to do, um, so these are dovetails, so these are the tails, and then these are the pins. We want to align, have the pins like directly over the, the tails on both sides. And then the, also this little divider and the mortise and tenon are there. So it takes a little bit of adjustment. And uh, so we just kind of visually see it, the helper can help you, and it should click a little bit. And then when it does click, you just push a little bit, and you can push a little bit more with your weight. Kind of like so. And then, uh, then you take the top piece. I think that should be a little easier to align it. You know, get it in the right place there. Kind of pushing it. I'm looking at the divider in the middle. And then just starting to push it down. So we're going to stop here for a moment. Um, then we're going to show you how to tighten this uh, all, all together as a separate step. So thank you. Okay, in the previous video we uh, pushed the uh, box together um, here and now we'll tighten it up. Um, you may have noticed at the end of the last video that this didn't quite press down. And what I did notice is that this uh, divider had popped out. So um, so anyway, in any case, if it's not going down, uh, don't force it and, and just kind of check uh, everything uh, as it goes in. So this is about, um, I just applied some uh, uh, weight and got to this point. Um, and now we can uh, use the, uh, either the mallet or the uh, clamp. I'm going to use the mallet here. It's good to maybe have less thick of a carpet uh, so you, it's a little easier to uh, mallet it, so just some light taps, just like that, a couple more over here, and then do that on that, do a couple over here, and then the, the alternate way um, is to take the clamps, And then just uh, kind of set it along here, and then just kind of squeeze it together with the clamps. 
You can see this kind of come together there. You can undo it, go to the bottom and do it again. Yeah, basically like that. So then, uh, yeah, that should be uh, pretty flush. And they do the same on the, on the other side. And then you have a box. And the final thing, uh, before we put the assembly together, um, you have these two uh, shells uh, in the packet. Um, just uh, screw on the uh, knob that goes on the, the bottom because you use it to slide the shelf. Uh, they're marked left and right, so the right one goes here, and the left one goes here. And then you can use those to slide the shelves. Okay, thank you. So now we have the uh, assembled box. We have the uh, two uh, drawers uh, ready. Now it's time to uh, put this together with the trim. So uh, over here we have the uh, uh, six uh, trim pieces. There's two long ones that go uh, front and back. And then there's two side, four side ones that go on the sides on either sides of the shelf right here. And uh, they're all uh, they're all labeled. Um, so we'll start. Um, there's one labeled F. That's the front. And yeah, we'll begin the process uh, by putting this one. So so there's mortise and tenon joints. So they basically put them in here, and they're slightly off 90 to kind of cinch the uh, the top of the disc. So you just put it in the hole there, and kind of push it on both sides, kind of like that. And then this is the uh, a little bit tricky part, so we're going to lift the box so you see the uh, corners of the, uh, of the side structure here, the, in, the inside of the box is going to snug in right in these uh, corners here. Um, so we're going to lift the box and kind of guide it and press it against this and then it should snap in. So lift the box now. So as you see, I kind of press it up against the, the front uh, stretcher. Kind of look at the shelves and then it should just pop in like that. Okay. And now for the uh, side trim, or we'll do the back trim uh, next to the uh, uh, B for back. Um, so it's, uh, I forget to mention, you want um, space to be able to work around uh, for this part of the process. So the, uh, so the trim, uh, you want to get the uh, miter corner kind of close. Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment on the mortise and tendon, so you just kind of get it fairly flush like that. And just uh, basically push it in, kind of one side and the other, just like the front piece. And there it is. Okay, and then it's uh, just a matter of doing the uh, side pieces. I'll just show you one side. Um, so there'll be uh, right side pieces and left side pieces. So there's right left and right right. So right right goes here, and then right left goes there. And then uh, so basically the right right piece goes there, and you just kind of push it, a little bit of rocking motion. Get it right in there, it snaps in uh, uh, good there. And then the, uh, and then right left uh, goes just like that. And like that, so that's a, and then uh, I won't show the other side, but the other side is exactly the same. And uh, thank you very much. Okay, we're just about done here. I was going to give you a couple other pointers on the uh, uh, trim and uh, setting the uh, box in. It's, uh, it's important to have the uh, drawers um, out a little ways so when you set the box in you don't uh, bash into the edges of the, the trim there. And uh, also if the drawer is tight, it's usually the uh, uh, trim is a little snug on this side or that side. It's an easy fix is to just 
tap the mallet against the uh, against the shell, just a little tink, 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 and then that should uh, that should uh, loosen it up there. Okay, now we just uh, assemble the tabletop. I've done the the screwing in ahead of time. Um, so there's a uh, three uh, three hinges. Um, it's important for these uh, mortise free hinges for the uh, the hinge to go out. So the three screws are on the bottom, and then the uh, the tabletop will screw into here. And then we have two uh, silicon bronze screws. Um, that's you kind of start with the tabletop, putting these two in, one on this side, one on that side. Then after that. Uh, uh, dials in, then there's three pins. Um, you dry those in just like the legs, uh, so one, two, and three. So not the ones uh, closer to the edge, but the ones uh, a little bit uh, closer in, away from the edge. Okay, so then uh, once uh, the top uh, part is in place, uh, the next um, is getting the uh, tabletop. I'm not, not going to do it because I don't have a helper here, but you see the tabletop. Um, so you want to um, basically have this upside down and uh, so you see these screw holes here. So then you flip the table so those screw holes are facing here with a little padding underneath and then you, then you screw them in. And finally when you're all done, you get this little ledger, push that into the pins and you're ready for a cup of coffee. All right, thank you.